Hey guys, welcome back to Total Rebuilds and welcome back to episode 6 of the Mark 1 TT build. So in the last episode we were still experiencing the pesky boost issues which we couldn't get on top of. In this episode I managed to fix them and we can actually get on with making some decent power. So we've just swapped the N75 valve out in a desperate attempt to try and fix this overboost problem that we've got. So I had a few people in the comments say swap the N75 even though it tested out okay. So I don't know, I'm, I'm open to try anything. It's getting beyond desperation at the minute. Obviously we've got to get this car ready for mapping at the end of this month over at Mallory Performance. And we can't map it while it's breaking up under load. So that was for the sake of 20 quid, thought change it. So let's give it a whirl, see how we get on. Okay. Here goes nothing. So here we go. First gear. Second gear. Around about 45 psi. Third gear, about 5 psi. Fourth gear, about 7 or 8 psi. So it's behaving dramatically different. If we really get on it, it's about 11 psi in fourth gear. Let's go into fifth. About 10 psi. So it's no longer breaking up. So it must have been the N75. How bizarre, even though, because it all the workshop manuals tell you to check the resistance between the, the pins which ours was bang on so one to note for anybody that has a BAM 225 engine or indeed any engine that has an N75 valve bit to it it's widely used across the VAG group don't always rely on what they tell you to test swap it out for the sake of the cost of it, it save you hours and, and hundreds of pounds in parts I've got a little 0 to 60 up here. So I'm going to put that down out of the way because I don't want to hold my phone whilst driving. But we're going to give this a whirl, see how we get on 0 to 60. And there we go, we've got a check engine light. Probably for misfire. And this is what I was getting before. When you really, really get on it and push it, you start getting misfires on the cylinders. I've got my new NGK Platinum Spark plug, so we're going to throw them in. Hopefully that will make a massive difference to the engine breaking up. If we've had boost issues, we've had vacuum issues, we've probably had issues with fuel mixture, I'm expecting these spark plugs to be heavily caked. Right, so I've undone the bolts on the N249 reservoir system and bracket, so we can move that completely out of the way. We'll refit that afterwards. Um, and work cylinder one, two, three, and four. Um, we just need to release these clips, which is sometimes easier said than done if they've been off before and the clips have been broken. Let's try and... Obviously these are going to be a little bit brittle. So that's number one. If we just get under... Start to lift that up. Coil pack number one.
Well, not too bad actually, it looks. So that means that the the gasket on the rocker cover's gone. Hmm. The Y cylinder two's uh, misfiring. under three That'll do it. So it looks like we've got a leak on the rock cover internal seals for the spark plugs. So obviously that's not going to contaminate the actual spark plug itself. What it's doing is it's getting into the end of the coil pack and affecting the connection, which is why we're seeing it break up. So I'm going to have to get that done. I was going to do it anyway, like, but come all the more urgent now. Okay, so we just need to torque these up. So I've set that to 30 Newton meters. So we'll just nip each one of these up and then we can get the core packs cleaned up and refitted. start off with. That's 20. That's 20. Thirty. 
There's your 30 newton meters. As you can see, we've had a pretty significant failure of the rocker cover gasket on the inside. So them spark plug wells were filling up quite badly with oil, so that was contaminating the connection of the coil pack to the spark plug. So we'll give them a good clean up, get them refitted, and hopefully that should solve our issue with the engine breaking up. Um, fingers crossed. Right, let's see whether that's fixed anything. Let's see if we can actually give it some beans and get on it without it breaking off. That oil's got to have been causing an issue. I can't see it how it couldn't have been. So guys, what a relief. I can't believe that's finally fixed now. We're actually making some proper power. So on the next video, we're gonna be tackling that sump, which we're gonna do this time around. As I say, apologies, I've had a bit of a trap nerve that type of couple of weeks off. Still really, really suffering. You'll see a few moans and gripes throughout that video, but apologies for that. Obviously can't be helped. So next time we go and get the sump sorted out and we'll start making some proper performance modifications ready for our tuning session with Mallory Performance. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and catch you on the next one. <laughs>